Hello, hello, everybody. Larissa Nelson here. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. All right, girl, this one is highly requested from my sister friends, which is probably you. So I'm going to be showing you guys an updated version of how I style my short natural hair girl i have been natural it's oh my gosh it's coming up on a year so last year around valentine's day i chopped my hair all off and i will have a video link down below in the description box for you on why i did it for like the 15,000th time <laughs> and i can confidently say and i know y'all don't believe me my sister friends out there i know y'all don't believe me because y'all been on this journey with me and you know i, I low-key don't even believe myself but i promise you we are here to stay okay i'm not going back to the relaxers i'm not going to cut my hair anymore i'm just going to let it grow how it is so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started because i know y'all don't like people talking in the intro okay y'all be mean about it too you ain't gotta be mean all right let's go ahead and get started all right so before we officially get started let's just take care of some housekeeping if you will the number one question that i probably get when it comes to my hair is first of all what my texture is i'm not that into hair typing but if i were to go by like the hair typing chart or whatever it is i'd say i'm probably between a 3c and 4a 4b maybe so that is my natural hair texture now I also get oh my gosh y'all if I had a quarter for every time that somebody asked me if I have a texturizer I'd probably be rich <laughs> at this point I do not have a texturizer okay this is how my hair naturally grows from my scalp okay i have already washed and deep conditioned my hair i just had that plastic cap on so that my hair can stay nice and damp but how you see it is how it is this is literally how my hair grows from my scalp and i also wanted to let you guys know a lot of people think that if you use the same product as you know a natural hairstylist or naturalista or even a youtuber that they'll get the same results and that is just simply not true okay so it is based on your hair texture it's based on your hair type it's based on your hair's porosity it th there's just so many different factors when it comes to how your hair is going to turn out okay so i just had to get that disclaimer out of the way because girl if you use these products and your hair does not turn out the way mine turns out or if your hair doesn't look the same if you don't get the same results that i do don't begin mad at me okay <laughs> So this is your warning now. I have realized that my hair, mine and my daughter's hair, our hair loves hydrating products. And I'm just now noticing that because anytime I use like a hydrating shampoo or hydrating conditioner, especially, my hair feels amazing. So this is currently my favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey in Mafura oil girl it's from their intensive hydration line okay <laughs> y'all these products are literally a dream especially this conditioner i have not used a conditioner this good in i don't know how long so this is what i used in my hair all right so let's go in with our leave-in conditioner i have been loving the cream of nature pure honey breakup breakage leave-in conditioner and this is just the conditioning spray it's literally like five or six dollars now while i'm doing this let me go ahead and tell y'all that i and this is no shade to any natural like professional natural hairstylist at all obviously they know way more than i do because they're trained professionals but girl i was trying to follow so there's a community of natural hairstylists on twitter i am not on twitter anymore i had to delete my account because it was just such a toxic place but anyway there's like this whole natural hair community on twitter and they give some really amazing advice don't get me wrong however i realized that some of their advice does not uh work well for me and my hair okay so let's just keep it at that um, I tried to do the no leave-in, no cream method and just do straight up gel. But 
but y'all that dried my hair out so bad and it literally started like breaking my hair off because it was not moisturized or like hydrated underneath so i went back to using leave-ins and this is the one that i've been loving it's simple you can spray it i like it it doesn't leave any white cast and it meshes really well with the gel that we're going to be using so i get that all in my hair and when i do this it is not drenched okay i just like it a little bit damp if i have to spray some water on some areas as i'm sectioning it off then i'll do so but as far as me doing my hair in the shower or my face dripping with water i don't do all that all right y'all so here is the gel that we're going to be using <sighs> so the natural hair professionals advise that you stay away from this gel and so i did that for a while i wasn't using this gel for really the whole time i've been natural since February of last year and I was using kind of expensive gels to use in my hair because they're supposedly better for your hair girl I started using this three dollar okay it's three dollars for a 35.27 ounce look how big this is it's literally as big as my head I got this for three dollars at Target I was spending 15 plus dollars on a jar of gel half of this size and I was going through the gels like every week because wash and goes are really the only style that I can do I mean hello my hair is short I was like I'm not about to keep spending all this money on this daggone gel that I'm gonna just wash out a few days later so I went back to my old faithful and my I promise my hair has not looked better I don't know what it is about this gel but it is just so good this will always 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 be my favorite gel because it's cheap and it works it's also alcohol free um it has no residues and it has aloe vera in it so i'm not complaining at all as long as a gel doesn't have any alcohol it's good in my book so my hair was already um detangled before like i detangled my hair in the shower and it is so easy to detangle with that conditioner y'all it is so good i'm trying to tell y'all it is brilliant so i'm gonna section my hair off and basically all i do is the sides and the back at the same time so i'll work my way around and then come up so really quickly i'm just going to do the back of my hair and then just show you guys the results there is no method to this Okay, I literally just put the gel in my hair and then I comb it through. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. So I'm just, again, putting it in my hair and then combing it through. And I work in sections. So normally I'll do the back first and then I'll come around to the sides. Right now I'll start using my double ended edge brush because this comb is so fine and thin on the end it really helps to define those curls once you comb the gel through but you have got to make sure that there are no knots or tangles in your strands because if there are this will pull your hair out okay it'll get caught in the comb and then it'll snag your hair and i get so upset so make sure that your hair is tangle free when you do this so then i'll just kind of start to shape my edges then i'll just take it and do like swoops or just play around with it however I'm feeling that day is how I'll do my edges all right so this is what my back is looking like so far all right so since I've shown you my process of how I do the back of my hair I'm just gonna go around and then when I get to my crown area then I'll show you guys how I do the rest 
Hey girl. Okay, so like I said, there's really no specific method to this. I just make sure that I section my hair off, spray some water if needed, detangle, and then apply the gel. Now normally I detangle with a larger comb or like a detangling brush, but I didn't have either in front of me, so I'm really making sure to be careful with this rat tail comb. So now I just gently detangle from the bottom first, and then I glide the comb through the strand all the way. I noticed that this process is easier when I work in small sections even though my hair is still really short. So if you have longer hair than mine then you definitely want to make sure that you work in small sections and really take your time so that you can keep the integrity of your hair over time. So when I apply the gel I make sure that I do so on the detangled section starting at the root. So I smooth it on to the roots and then I apply it to the rest of the strand. And then once the gel is in, I rake it through with the comb so that it's nice and smooth. So now once I get to the front of my hair, specifically like the edges in the very, very front, depending on how I want to wear it, that's how I will, I guess, like decorate my edges. So normally I just do my little swoops or whatever, and I'm going to try my very best to explain what I'm doing here. So because I wanna wear my hair back and instead of raising my roots to get volume since I'm going for definition today, I smooth the front of my hair back. Because I'm not gonna pick it out, it looks a certain shape. So this style looks different than it did in my last video, which by the way, I will have linked in the description box for you. And that's because in my last video, I wore my hair forward. So I'm combing it back this time, but last time I combed it forward and you'll see this time it looks way different than it did last time. I really hope I'm explaining this right. Now you'll start to notice that I'm adding a little bit more gel in the front than I did this whole entire time. And that's because in the front, my hair is unfortunately broken off. And so you probably can't really see it that well, but it is broken off in the front, which means it's not all the way smooth. So I have to apply a little bit more gel and then like really comb it back for the strands to be cohesive and smooth all together. So then after I make sure that everything is nice and smooth, I will then go back to my sides or my edges or whatever and perfect those. And as you can see, girl, the finished results are beautiful. You have juicy, defined curls that are shiny and bouncy. So this is my process every time I do my hair and now I'll just let you watch as I finish. Right, you guys that is how i style my natural twa by the way twa stands for teeny weeny afro i'm not sure who came up with that acronym but 
clearly I got one. Normally for my last and final step with styling my hair, I'll wait until it dries down maybe like 80, 90% and then I'll go in with a pick and raise the roots so that it's high. But most of the time I have to choose between definition and volume. Um, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Normally you guys see me with volume. Today I chose definition just so you can see how I get definition. <laughs> so again, super simple, super cheap. Both of these products totaled maybe $10 if that. I absolutely love this gel and I will never stop using it. So that's it y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have hair texture like mine or if it's close to yours and you've been wondering about some products that may or may not work for you, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to either reach out to the brand so that they can send me the products or I'll just go to the store and buy them myself. I absolutely love doing natural hair product reviews. It's like my favorite thing. So I do have a few of them already on my channel. I will link the playlist down below in the description box for you. Also y'all, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, girl. If you wanna be sister friends, okay? That's what I call you guys because that's what you guys are please make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. I am at the Larissa Nelson on every single social platform except for YouTube. So let's find each other there and stay connected. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.